Hello everyone, Brian Bat here with Articulate. I'm going to show you how to knock out the background of an image by using a free program available called Artweaver. Now to start out, we've got the image loaded up here. We want to go over to our Layers section and we want to select this arrow and choose Duplicate Layer. Now that we've got that selected, uh, we want to hide that background. Go over here to our Magic Wand tool and we've got a tolerance of 20 and that's fine at the moment. Uh, uncheck Anti-Aliased and check mark Contiguous. Now we're just going to left click a section that we want to get rid of and then select Delete on our keyboard. As you can see that has deleted it. And we're going to go over here and select and press Delete again and go down here. And as you can see in this selection, we do have extra gray matter that has been selected. So we want to deselect that by pressing Control D, go up here, change our tolerance to 10, reselect, and looks like we're good on the gray matter. Hit delete, go down here, hit delete again. We've got a small section we're going to get rid of here. And since this is a gradient, we probably want to increase our tolerance to about 25. We're going to select that, press delete, select delete. Okay, so right now we've got a pretty good selection, but let's see how we've done. We're going to create a new layer. We're going to go over here to our paint bucket tool, make sure black is selected, and we're going to drop that. And we're going to move our layer back on top. And as you can see, we've got some white. Uh, area around the object and we'll get rid of that later. Uh, what we want to concentrate on is this other sections that we missed. So what we're going to do, we're going to zoom in on those sections, grab our select tool, drag and select some area, press delete on our keyboard, and we'll just continue doing that. We'll zoom up some more here. And you can either get as detail oriented as you want, or you can keep the selections uh, to a minimal. Uh, it's completely up to you as far as the quality that you're looking for. Uh, so we're going to go up here and then select again. And zoom out. And right now we've got a pretty good selection, but let's make it even better. Go over here to the layer, hold down control on your keyboard and just left click and this will select the entire area that's around our object. Now we want to do is go to the select menu uh, we're going to modify and choose contract we're going to change that to two pixels now we're going to go to select we're going to inverse our selection and what this does is select those two pixels on the outside of the object now what we're going to do is select feather change that to three now the reason why we're going to feather is because if we just hit the delete button, it's going to make for a real jagged uh, delete. So using the feather and then hitting our delete button, and we're going to remove that selection. And as you can see, a lot of that white matter is now completely gone, and it looks like the background looks really well, looks really good and really pops. Now the final step here, we're going to delete that black layer. We're going to control click and select our object again and press control C to copy it. Now we're going to create a new document. Make sure that the pixels match up. Click OK. Paste that in there. Zoom out. Make sure we've got everything there. We're going to go to File, Save As. We're going to select a PNG. We'll call it Lego Woman 5 save just click OK now here this is very important if you select 24 bits per pixel uh, this isn't going to save your transparency so what you need to do is select 32 bits per pixel click OK now let's launch PowerPoint we're going to go into PowerPoint insert picture find Lego Woman 5 and as you can see we now have the Lego Woman inserted uh, and it's completely transparent. So there you go. That's how you use Artweaver to knock out the background and images or objects to use in your PowerPoint presentations.